Well, here come the Stenland Belfast Giants on the ice tonight. The Fish Town Penguins have uh, made their way out. Shane, the Fish Town Penguins, they've had an interesting summer themselves, and they've come in and they've basically had a bit of a change. They were supposed to be DEL2, but they've been promoted and they uh, are up with the big boys this season. Yeah, I mean, a, a great opportunity for them and a, a great challenge for their coaching staff and ownership to very, very late in the summer to readjust their strategy for the season and, and get the guys in that can compete in the DEL. Moore gives it to the right-hand side for Portson again. Comes in off the wall, gets it right front. Gracie up by Stephen Murphy. Rebound effort on a single in net with a number 27 of the Fist Town Penguins. Stepping in from the point is Bronson Mashmeyer. And he puts the Penguins up early for the blue line. Steps in, couple of circles, throws it across. Moore steps in, lovely pass across there. Takes an effort. Backhand play there by the Fist Town Penguins. And a second power play goal. I believe it might have been Steve Slatten. But what a pass coming across Mike Moore. Back to the point for Walzer. Walzer looking for an outlet. But Saviano throws it towards and that blocked in front and gets it back. Back to the point once again. Walzer. Walzer throws a three. It's tipped in front yeah. by Mike Forney. And with the noise in the arena, you can tell that the Belfast Giants are on the board with 3.56 to go. Good play around the outside. I think it was Forney tipped it in front. And a lovely shot coming in from Derek Walzer. The puck is played around the outside again. Kept in at the blue line by... The Fish Town Penguins winds up for the shot, and it goes right past Stephen Murphy. Didn't get a tip in front, and that's a great shot from the point by Wade Bergman. He looks happy with that one. And Matt Nickerson skates out of the penalty box, puts the Fish Town Penguins 3-1 up and another power play goal. Stephen Murphy now steps out, and out Van the Meer has a little bit of time. There's it off the wall, gets that one back from James Demerai, gets it out front, spins away from the chance end, and then a great play again. All kept in at the blue line by... James Demerai involved was Vandermeer. I think it was Steve Saviano. I'm getting the touch and the final touch. I think it might have been David Rutherford. Giants put it within one goal again. Standing line Belfast Giants two. First time Penguins three. Jonathan Boxall goes D to D. Goes right up in the air. Bound down again. It's kept in. But stepping up there again. There's a bit of a challenge here right in front. And there's going to be a bit of a scrap. Mike Moore and Adam Keefe going at it. The crowd are on their feet. Adam Keefe feeding him a few rights. Mike Moore coming back with a, a right hand and the helmet comes off with a big right hand there from Adam Keefe. That's what the crowd is certainly getting involved this evening. Mike Moore, again Hershey Burrs last year. Adam Keefe, the captain of the Stanley Belfast Giants. These guys are bound to be tired. It was the end of their shift. Both going toe to toe. The Lions men not want to step in. I wouldn't want to step in either. Elbow pads now coming up. Adam Keefe takes him down. And that's definitely has the this crowd up this evening. And got everybody up on their feet, Johnny. Yeah, what a great uh, right fight there for Adam Keith. Crowd going crazy for that. You can see their appreciation for the captain of the Belfast Giants. Bulls are stepping in from the blue line, and there's a chase here. Could be a possible two on one. Matt Nickerson, and lovely pass across. What a play by the Fishtown Penguins. The play that just couldn't keep it in at the blue line. Lovely pass across there from Jason Bast. I'm not too sure who got the, the one-time effort on it. But with being so high after the fight, and it seems to take a little bit of wind out of the sails there for the Giants. Couldn't keep the puck out of the net. We've got a 4-2 scoreline with 7.42 to go. Hold in the corner, Rutherford, and helped out this time by Brandon Benedict. One-time effort coming in. It's made its way through. One-time effort. Derek Walzer. Couple of circle. I'm not too sure if Brandon Benedict got a tip on it. But another power play goal, and we got a 4-3 scoreline with 4-12 to go. Mr. Garth drops the puck, and we're off and running. Fish time Penguins win that face off, and they dump it in. The Giants end. Jeff Mason picks it up off the wall and gets it back into safety in the neutral zone. Fish time trying to get on the ascendancy again. Another chance coming through. Great save by Stephen Murphy, and another early goal. Very, very quick goal this time by the Fish time Penguins. 17 seconds in. And they take a goal through a, a bit of a nothing play along the boards, Aaron. Yeah, I mean, the, the guys will be disappointed. You know, obviously last night, you know, we said they started slowly. Tonight, uh, that's not even a slow start. You can't even say it's too early to have a slow start, I think. Um, so I'll be disappointed, but it's early. Plenty of time to come back from it. Well, I, you know what? I, I think he, he would absolutely love that. I've known Stephen for 
a long time, knows dad as well. Went to, well, I was going to say went to school with his dad. He's a wee bit older than me. But, um, you know, it's, it's great to see more local talent getting out front. And our chance there. Walzer tried to throw it around behind the net. Picked off him by the Fishtown Penguins. Lovely pass out front. One-time effort pass, Stephen Murphy. And another two-goal lead. 15-51 to go in this first period. Oh, Derek Walls, it looks as if he's struggling there. He's, that's not a good sign. He's heading towards the bench. Yeah, coach, player, coach, struggling to get to the bench. Puck coming in there, and another goal, just a, a goal scored by number 91, Rob Bordson. Uh, and the second goal, my apologies, but it's not good to see Derek Walls are struggling to get off the ice there, Aaron. No, it's not, and, and, and as he struggled to get off, he unfortunately has left uh, has left the guys wide open, with given Bremer having the chance to, to get that goal, you know, put the puck in the net again. 9.06 remaining. If you want to get in contact with us, folks, you can do so at, on Twitter, sorry. Um, you can get myself at Kitchy16, and you can also have the boys behind the scenes and Belfast Giants TV. Aaron, your handle is again Aaron with the double Aaron, A. Yep, double. Oh. Again, we'll just come back to that in a second. Another play right in front of Stephen Murphy. And another goal for the first time. Penguins off to an absolute fire this evening. Stephen Murphy not getting much help in front of his own net. Gives the rebound out, but you would expect your defenseman to try and tie people up there. Yeah, I think that, that's been the th issue on a couple of the goals there. The, you know, we've got a few big D-men back there, but they just haven't cleared the crease in front uh, of Murph, and the, they've left you know, they've left guys alone to get on those second and third chances, and, and you know, Fishtown have taken advantage of them and pretty much every time they've had a chance. Colin Sheens now gets it back to Martinelli. He tries to make a stray pass across there. Mason... I'm oh, sorry, pardon my apologies. Mark Garside trying to get there, but unfortunately can't get a hold of it. The chance at a little bit of sixes and sevens here at the minute, Aaron. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously it's a fast start by the Penguins, but it's maybe put the guys on the back foot and then losing Derek Walzer as well and having to juggle things around. It, it's uh, maybe it's not quite going the way we wanted this evening. And the fifth goal, that was an excellent goal there by the Fish Town Penguins. That's number five. Fourth goal confirmed. Goal, goal scored by number 97, Christoph Kuhner, assisted by number 32, Cody Lampo, and number 79, Andrew McPherson. Belfast Giants need to take a... I know they are indeed. They're about, I was about to say they need to take a, a timeout here and regroup. Shields lofts that one up in the air again. They played by... Slap new steps. I'm sorry, Cody Lampley steps inside. He's already got a goal this evening. Lovely pass there. Oh. Great forehand to backhand. And through the legs of Andrew Dixon oh, is no. Jack Coombs. Great goal there by the Fishtown Penguins, Shane. That was a tidy tuck there. I mean, good passing. Sick backhand. I mean, going to school for uh, young Dickel. Leaves it into Adam Keith. Back to the point. Gosh, I throws it towards the net and fumbled that one was Jerry Coon, but he paddled it into the corner. Benedict again tries to get it out front. Shot coming in the top oh. corner with a great effort. And that has ignited the crowd, but a great play there between Adam Keith, Ramon Benedict, and finished off with a one-time effort from David Rutherford. Yeah, I mean, as Shane's talked about it there and, and attacking in a unit, the guys got forward there. Everyone got into the zone, got a bit of pressure, cycled it around, and then a fantastic finish from Rutherford. Cody Lample throws it towards the net, blocked in front by... Jim van der Meer, and again, good defensive player there, time by Lampel, who steps van der Meer, takes a bit of a whack there at Marion Dejdar, and the big man, you don't want to rattle his cage early on, shot coming in, and Dejdar, one-time effort with a lovely pass across the crease, Andrew Dixon couldn't get side to side quick enough, and their seventh goal of the evening is scored by number 19, Marion Dejdar. Martinelli now gets it back to the point, and can't control it, and a collision there, and a Jim van der Meer not overly happy with Jordan Owens and Jim van der Meer, and that might be a bad <laughs> effort, a bad uh, uh, judgment there by Jordan Owens, Jim van der Meer throwing a few rights, and the helmet now is lost for Jordan Owens, van der Meer trying to hold him it to get his arm free, 
Trying to tie himself up in the head. The shirt is more or less coming over the top of the head. Van der Meer hasn't got his arm going yet, but the linesman letting these guys go. Van der Meer with a couple of big rights. And he's pummeling the back of the head of Jordan Owens. Jordan Owens looks as if he's bit off more than he's can chew. And I didn't see what happened initially with the uh, coming together of the players, but Jordan Owens will certainly live to regret that one. 